most people probably have home networks. They have a Wi-Fi network in their home, they have a wired network in their home, and they utilize it every single day to do all sorts of things, working, personal things, you know, social media, whatever they're doing, they're, all, they're always doing things from their home network. You need to secure that network um, and ensure that somebody's not able to gain access to that network. Because if they do, they can get access to everything else you're doing, right? They can turn and get access to your, your computer. They can see the traffic you're, you're, you're sending across that network. They can do lots of things. Make sure you have a checklist and go through. Is that one, when you have a home network set up, you don't want it to be an open Wi-Fi network. You don't want to name that SSID like your address or your, or your last name or something like that. You want to secure that wireless network with WPA2 and ensure that that pre-shared key, that that password that you're gonna to use to connect all your various devices to that Wi-Fi network is, is long and complex and can't be easily guessed. Now you think it's relatively secure, but it's only gonna be as secure as the things that you connect to it as well. And so if you're using you know, your, your phone and your personal laptop, and that's about it on your network, you're probably okay. If you are going online and you're buying random IoT you know, junk and plugging it into your network, and those devices are phoning back to various cloud services and you know, have remote control capabilities, you've now extended the security of your home network to all those various providers out there. And if one of those providers is very laxed from a security standpoint, or maybe is known to say spy on their consumers, then you now have exposed your own network and in turn your own personal life um, to, those, to those services that are now spying on you and seeing what you're doing.